Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. I know it's been a while, but I am back. So I took a little time off in December to relax and rejuvenate, but um, now I'm back for the new year. Well, a little bit earlier than the new year, but I'm really excited to show you guys some new things that I got from Merit Beauty. So if you guys aren't aware, Merit Beauty is a really awesome beauty brand. And um, I have two new products from them, and I have an oldie but goodie that I'm going to apply for a quick little demo so that way you guys can see it in this video. So the two new products that I'm going to feature are Day Glow, the, highlight, the highlighting balm, and then um, the shade stick in the shade Cara Cara. So that's a lip oil. Um, things that are amazing about Mary Beauty, if you're not familiar with the brand, they have really phenomenal products, super great. Sorry, I'm like off center. There we go. <laughs> um, really great. And here are some of the reasons why they're amazing. It's clean, vegan, cruelty free. So if you're one of those people that you're looking to kind of transition more into using clean beauty, Merit Beauty is where you want to start. But where I think you should start first is with my favorite product, their foundation. So their foundation is called the Perfecting Complexion Stick. I have the shade Tiger Eye. So I'm going to apply that first and then I'm going to get into the other two products, okay? So I'm going to start off with this. Um, I love a good cream foundation. This is my fave. Let's see. I can never tell which end is the end to open on this. There we go. Um, so as you can see, it has a little color right there so what I do is because I have oily skin and this is cream I did cover my face first with the setting powder so you know that's op optional you can do it afterward too if you want but I just did it before so I'm just going to draw little lines on my face where I have the most discoloration as you guys can see I'll come back with this chin upper lip nose and then I always got to be careful in the forehead so I don't take out the eyebrows. So as you guys can see, you could probably see the lines on my face. But it's also like, mm, they're kind of, you know, disappearing a little bit. It's a really great match for me. Um, it's super creamy, super easy to apply. I have my brush here, a little flat kabuki brush. And I'm just going to blend that in all over my face. Big, big hoops. Try to move them. I could get a little more blending. Um, I'm trying to do half of my face so you guys could kind of like see the difference. I know y'all like that has nothing to do with the makeup, Kimberly. I know, I know. But and then I want to bring it down on my neck. So as you guys can see, that is half of it, and as my it evens your skin out, but it makes you look really natural, really lightweight. It doesn't look cakey. It's a perfect, perfect foundation, and that's why I love it. So um, we're gonna go ahead and blend out the other side. Let's go, just so that way you guys can see how easy this thing is to use. Um, it gives you a really natural kind of look that um, is kind of hard to get with foundation. Uh, it's very easy for foundations to become cakey and fake looking. And this foundation doesn't do that, which I love. So again, with the forehead on the other side, and bring it down the neck. So, here we go. Boom, and there you have it. Easy to use, a beautiful color, beautiful coverage, just so you guys can see. It looks really, really natural, and it's easy to blend. And as you can see, I still have those places where my face is naturally highlighted, naturally has that oil, and I love that for me, because um, the issue with foundation is you don't want to cover up so much that you look fake and like no life to your skin. But although this is kind of addressing the discoloration, it also um, looks really natural. So I am just going to go back in really quickly around my mouth because I do notice that like right here is a little discoloration skill. Same thing right here, my little marionette lines. Um, and then I'm just going to tap instead of blending like I did before just to try to make that look. And it's not even like I want to totally make it disappear. 
I just don't want it to be as noticeable. Boom. So there you go. So next, let's move into the highlighter. All right, so now that we're done with the foundation, next we're going to move on to Day Glow the highlighter. And it's so funny. I wanted this highlighter for a month, and it was sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. So I'm so glad that Mary Beauty sent it to me because I wanted to try this thing in the worst way. So this is Canva Super Cute White Packaging. And that is the shade. So it's like a champagne -y highlighter. So what I'm going to do is just to make sure I kind of hit it in the right place. I'm going to keep my mirror low. But just come right there with it. I like a strong highlight. So I'm putting a lot on there. Because your girl likes the highlighterization. And I'm probably going to put it on the cheek a little. There we go. Um, my nose is already oily, so, oh, as you can see, my foundation did a number on that. But, um, you know, that's how this goes. Uh, I have a little Morphe brush, the M335. I'm going to go ahead and blend this highlighter out. I like to put highlighter on kind of like the highest point that's not automatically underneath my cheek. And then blend that out. Cause I still want to leave a little room for if I want to go back with concealer, but I probably won't. And boom. I can't wait to wear this highlighter on my real skin too because it just looks so beautiful and effortless. Look at that. Like, the highlight is there, but it's also not egregiously glittery. You see that? Really, really pretty. Super, that's super cute. Oh, I love that. And that's what I love about Murray Beauty products. They're really easy to use, really simple. With some high, I wear makeup all the time, and I can even tell you that there's some highlighters where it's going to be a lot of work. I have to mix this this way and try to do all these different things to make sure the highlighter looks right. And it's really high stress, high involved, lots of steps, and it's too much. But Murray Beauty, not only is it clean and vegan, it's easy to use. So, um get into it i'm gonna try the cara cara tinted lip oil and this shade is gorgeous and it's really um soft and beautiful i'm gonna go back to the mirror just because i don't want to look like a drunk lady not that there's anything wrong with being a drunk lady but you know I want to make sure that I get this on my lip and not all over my face. Um, if you have dry lips and you want a lip gloss alternative, lip oils are where it's at. I've actually transitioned a lot away from lip glosses and more towards lip oils lately because um, I have dry lips and after a certain amount of time, lip gloss just taps out and you have to start um start over which means scrubbing your lip and uh getting all the dry little flakies off and then putting lip balm again and all of that stuff so with lip oils you never have to do that even when they dry down you could just continue to reapply all day Especially with this Mara Beauty one. So this is the shade Cara Cara. I absolutely love it. It's like a burnt orange kind of mauve shade still though. Super soft. Feels great. Feels amazing. Love it on my lips. Again, love, love, love Merit Beauty. If you want to find out more about Merit Beauty, check out the information in the description box below. It's a phenomenal brand. As you guys can tell, skin flawless. Have that natural glow. And then the lip oil is beautiful and they have so many different shades and every merit beauty lip oil i tried like love that shade love that shade love that shade the shades are truly flattering to so many different skin colors undertones and types that i think that you're really going to be able to easily find a lip oil that you like so thank you so much for watching the video make sure you click down to the description below and i'll see you next time bye